CES 2017 coverage is brought to you by MSI and the new Z270 chipset, and by EVGA, our trusted graphics card partner. What's up guys, Jace Two Cent here, and I am at the MSI uh, showroom here at the Venetian, and we are taking a look at a lot of new motherboards. So there's a lot that we could possibly talk about with motherboards, but we've got a new series of motherboards here. This is their M series, and we're actually gonna be taking a look on the channel here when I get back from CES, the new M7 motherboard here, which has some amazing features on there. It's got three M.2s on there. They actually have a heat sink that you can put on your M.2. It's gonna help keep it cool. If you're using it as a main drive, it can keep the temperatures down, which will keep the speeds up. It's got two audio codecs on here. So now for the first time, you can actually have simultaneous control over gaming audio and multimedia or, or HTPC audio, whatever you want to call it, so that you can have a codec designed for whichever purpose it's going to be. And you can listen to both of those codecs simultaneously with multiple headphones, front and rear. Onboard audio is one of those things a lot of people just kind of write off as being useless, but that's not the case anymore. Um, they also went with a very spaceship design here. That was the entire design concept on this was sort of a spaceship. Maybe it's your thing, maybe it's not, but it's actually pretty nice with the RGB lights. It's always gonna uh, match whatever aesthetic you're going for. Now moving down, down the line a little bit here, we have their gaming series, as you'd expect, designed for gamers, but it's got all the features that you need. SLI, Crossfire support, multiple M.2s, obviously MVME support. It's got cooling in mind because long gaming sessions put good loads on your motherboards, can get nice and hot. So they've got big heat sinks on all of these motherboards here. And then of course here we have our gaming series, our arsenal series here, where this is, this is where I think most of you are gonna fall right there. You don't have a lot of money to spend on the motherboard, but you don't want to sacrifice the features. And that's the game you play when you're shopping for a motherboard. But MSI's thought ahead here, they're giving you, again, all the features you'd expect, but not stripped down. You've got multiple chipsets here that are gonna meet whatever your price range is gonna be. But also too, maybe you're like me. You do a lot of pro creativity. You do a lot of workstation stuff, but you also are a gamer. So you have the Pro Series here, which gives you everything that you could possibly need, depending on what type of system you're building. It's gonna give you all the features you'd expect that kind of meet both of those worlds. So it's kind of a no compromises, gaming and workstation compatible motherboard. Uh, multiple chipsets once again here, B250i Pro, and two different uh, Z270 options there. Okay, graphics cards. Guys, unfortunately, there is no 1080 Ti. I know that's what you guys were really hoping that NVIDIA was gonna talk about at their keynote, but no. So graphics cards, there's not really a whole lot new to talk about here. Here. They do have the Silver Edition, which um, came out actually in October of last year. One of the issues people have with the graphics was they're amazing cards. The coolers on them are very, very good. I mean, I would call them amongst the best graphics coolers that you can get with the Twin Frozer 6. The problem is they're all red and black, which unfortunately, unless you're building a red and black theme, kind of clashes with a lot of things. So that's why they've got this, the Silver Edition, which it came out with last October. Um, so that kind of fits a lot more aesthetics. It actually looks really good with any of their X-Power, M-Power stuff, the Titanium series stuff. So unfortunately not a lot to talk about with graphics cards, so this is going to be one that we're going to have to unfortunately just wait and see. Things we took a look at here, we will be doing some in-depth reviews and hands-on stuff back at the studio after the show. Everything I've showed you here so far though, we're looking at a uh, Q1 2017 launch. So as always with CES, we get to see this stuff early. Got to wait a little bit to see when it actually comes to market. Anyway, once again, a huge thank you to my supporters for this trip. MSI, of course, is my official motherboard partner for CES 2017. And thank you EVGA once again for sending us here, our trusted graphics partner. All right, guys, lots to cover. Don't go anywhere. I know your, your sub boxes are exploding, but trust me, it's worth it. See you in the next one.